All right, everyone, Angelo here, homeless filmmaker in LA, and I have got Angelo's mom on the phone for a very special phone call. Uh, today, mom, our YouTube channel, well, actually, it wasn't today, it was yesterday. Yeah. Our channel hit 18,000 subscribers. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, over 10. 18,000. I remember on you have. 2000 and you were happy. <laughs> yeah, I was real happy. That you was, were excited. Right, after I and visited. I remember the 5000. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. Was it 5000? You shot me with a paintball gun, I think. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't know right. what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, you hit me in the same spot on my arm twice. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so over 10 years, 18,000 subscribers, and uh, now very different circumstances. I'm on the other side of the country, and uh, I am yeah. sweaty here. It's hot. I turned the fan off for the audio for this video, and uh, yeah, I'm sweating. Here, I'm in, well, sun, I'm in sun space, I, by I the way. Was, go ahead. I want to say hi to all my viewers, which is I miss you so much. But I know I'm saying the same thing, but I promise you someday we're going to cook again several recipes. Now, uh, right now, under the circumstances, we can travel, but somehow, someday, we'll do it again. And I can't wait to do it. Now, 18,000 subscribers, it's, it's wonderful. So now we wait into the 25,000. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't believe people are still subscribing, even though the last year have just been videos of me mostly. But, uh, you know, I'm glad interesting stuff happens, like uh, when I got my car crash. Yeah, I'm uh, at least still just able to work and doing all right, getting by. There's not much film work. I can tell you, I looked at Craigslist. I'm not even sure if I should work on film stuff, because, you know, we have two messages, which is one, You've got to spread it, uh, limit the spread of this disease, but also uh, you have to make enough money to live. And I was looking at a film job today. I applied to one already. I'm not even sure if I really should. And then another one, it's a 20-day film shoot. And I know I'd be really good for it because it involves some travel and they need someone who can travel somewhere on a low budget. And I can do that, but I'm like, eh, I don't even know. Um, you know? On the one hand, we are supposed to yeah. limit the spread of this virus. On the other hand, we have to make money. Because this is going to be around a while. Yeah. Anyway, so... In the meantime, all I can do... Yeah. And let's see what happens. And... Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> but I'm just excited, excited right now talking to my viewers. Right. You know? I miss you guys. I miss you all so much. Keep watching the cooking videos and whatever it interests you, you know, but somehow, someday, we'll get together again. <laughs> um, yeah, people still comment almost every day on the cooking videos, so that's really good yeah. that people keep watching. The Spanakopita is the, like the number one viewed video, I think, most of the time. That and uh, maybe oh, the grape wow. leaves. Um, Maybe the baklava too. Yeah, that's up there too. But thank goodness people are still watching. Man, I know I'm sweaty right now. I, I, oh, man. It's but, hot here too. We get yeah. like 85 here. I'm not sure, but it's very hot. Mm -hmm. But I want you to know I'm working on the cooking videos. And I want you to know I miss my husband very much. I miss dad a lot. And I'm depressed. Kind of down, not depressed. I'm just down and it hurts a lot so i'm trying to stay busy i'm working in the backyard the front yard i put in mold planting roses doing stuff to get distracted i'm working inside the house organizing now i have the time uh what else yeah i'm cleaning the back room and the basement see what i have i don't need and i have thrown a lot of stuff out um, anyway, to get distracted and get busy, and it helps, but after 3 o'clock, I just try not to work. You know, I work all day. I get up very early, mm -hmm. but coming in the house, then it's I just thinking about that. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's, it 
just hurts a lot. I hope to God, I hope, and see, someday I can get back to some kind of normal routine. I don't know how, I don't see it yet coming, but I, I, I just, we'll see. Just take one day at a time, I'm doing the right thing, I follow the rules and everything. It's just uh, when you're married to someone for several decades and you love each other and it's very hard to get apart. And um, I'm just, just take one day at a time and try to do the right thing, the things he want me to do. He didn't want me to be like this. I'm happy, but I can't help it. So. Mm -hmm. Like I said, someday I will go to LA and we're gonna make some recipes and we'll talk about other things too, you know? Mm -hmm. So I can't wait for that. Yeah, um, yeah, man, a lot of things changing how uh, our lives are running now. It's like that, that, that and like three or four other things right now affecting the whole country and certainly my dissociative disorder, which I'm getting out of pretty well now. It's doing, it, going pretty well, and a big part of that is going to sleep early. I, not that I'm that good at that, but getting up early every day and mm -hmm. eating healthy, eating clean foods, and um, working out hard every day. How many burpees can you do, it, Mom? What? How many burpees can you do? What's that? It's burpees are when you do a push up and then go into a jump. You jump up in the oh, air, jumping I don't squat. Do that. I can do probably it may no. once I'm warmed up, warmed up I can do maybe 15 or 20 in my in one set. But uh I've been doing them like 4 days straight real heavy so I'm starting to take it easy on on that let myself recover. But yeah, it's good workout and uh really I don't even want to go back to the gym after this. Screw that. The crappy music there and the uh, money I spent and the money on gas, wear on my car, the tires. Screw that. I'd rather, and the rude people, I'd rather just work out in the park, which was kind of what I fantasized about before. It's always my fantasies come true. I thought about living in my car, but I thought, oh, I can't do that. Now I do. Then I thought about, I'll work out in the park, and I thought, no, I can't do that, and now I do. So, um, yeah, I don't know what to do about work. Uh, you know, I possibly have one film gig coming up, but um, other than that, I, I don't even know if I should apply to stuff. go back to normal a little bit well nothing's okay. going back to normal but um maybe Sometimes things will change for the better uh, maybe I they'll improve say, that's all i hope I can, listen everything you can conquer every a lot of good things if i have that right now here alive and well it will be much easier you know mm -hmm. i get through this much easier but anyway i count our blessings and um, take it from there. Oh. So congratulations for the 18,000 subscribers. And uh, yeah, I'm happy about that. Hey, we can talk about this now. Um, you found a piece of music a Beethoven music and you said it had a signature on it and a wax seal you thought it might right. possibly uh, Beethoven's actual autograph from like 120 years ago or whenever 140 years ago oh okay 200 years ago 220 years ago and uh, we thought oh maybe it'll be worth millions or something a lot of money well I emailed um, people who authenticate old documents and signatures mm -hmm. they immediately gave me detailed info saying most Beethoven signatures are copies, and if you look, you can tell by the uh, music. If it's printed music and the ink on the signature is the same as the ink on the music, it's a it's a copy because he didn't really sign printed music like that. He might have signed a few like of his actual manuscripts that he wrote or something of music, Probably, but yeah. not this. So and so we were like oh so this is worth basically because, a few cents yeah. this is worth a dollar maybe just for the actual music not even the signature because it's it's a copy well the thing is i kept it mm -hmm. because that probably brought it from germany and it's very very old 
uh, uh, paper. You know, you can tell it's yellowish, you mm. know, but I put it in a Ziploc brown, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Ziploc bag, plastic bag, and I kept it because it's that property, and she loved the music. Oh my God, that love classical music. So I keep it forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so anyways, that was funny. They said it's uh, like, you know, it's $60 to mail them a, a document for them to authenticate and they'll send it back, but they said it's probably not even worth the postage <laughs> because it's probably just a copy, you know. they uh, And they even said there's over 200 types of ink, of black ink, that can be on there. So look at it and determine if that... So they were up front. They weren't just trying to take money, which is what I was worried about. Yeah. But yeah, they said it's probably it's not. The They've encountered color. it a lot. Black yeah. Ink. Yeah, exactly. It's just but a copy it from the, the 1960s or whatever. Print. Right. But that's it. Wow. That that's exactly it. It's a pr it's printed. It's a copy, so it's not it's not worth uh much of anything. Still, you know, you can see his handwriting, you know, the way he mm -hmm. uh, But I keep it because that has it and it meant so much to him. So So uh what are you doing there for the summer? Once uh, school lets out, because you are still working at the school cafeteria a little, right? Just packing up food, even though yep. there's no classes. Just handing out yep. food, I'm basically. Yeah, still working summer. Oh, okay. Oh, they're still handing out food to people in the summer. Right, right, okay. right, right, right. It's okay. It's fine. I mean, we all well protected. We wear mm -hmm. masks and gloves and everything, and we are away from each other. So, mm -hmm. and it's not, it's only four people there or three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. So, yeah. Wow. But uh, anyway, I miss everyone and uh, be safe. Uh, follow the rules and stay healthy until we meet again. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. who knows uh, when that'll go. But uh, yeah, anyways. It will happen. I'm not sure. <laughs> If I should apply to any of these film jobs or not, I mean, it's a dilemma either way. It's like, well, this disease is going to be around for a year or two or more, so it's not like we I can go that. without we work know, we know all that time. It's okay, we'll see. Well, anyways. All right. Uh, I love you, everyone. Bye-bye, and just keep in touch. All right, everybody, like the video, subscribe, favorite, comment, support us on Patreon. And uh, we'll do more of these updates once in a while with my mom. But I uh, can't believe people are still subscribing uh, month after month. So that's great. Keep Thank subscribing. You. Share with your friends. I'm working on a lot of screenwriting stuff. I've got a screenplay of Philadelphia, the Tom Hanks movie, and Denzel Washington open on my laptop. I just started reading it. And uh, I'm studying a bunch of them. I want to read 100 and then retype out a few screenplays and then really get into mine, even though I take notes on mine almost every day. All right, everybody. Okay.